how do these two machines compare? So physically, these two are dimensionally the same except for, as you can see, the, the 2000 XL is a little taller all the way back. A little taller, what is that, a half an inch? <clears throat> but the depth and, and the width of both these machines are the same. Um, the build quality is a lot the same. They're real, so I've taken both these machines apart and they're, I'm not going to say identical because they're not, but, but you know, a lot of the same parts, the same thickness of, of metal, the same kind of construction on, on the pad, uh, you know, what the pads sit on, the metal and all that. Um, this being a little more compact tends to be a little more solid. But this one has a little more of a hollow sound in certain places, especially right here. That's standard for a 2000XL though. I've had like three or four of these things. So they tend to resonate a little more when you hit them. Where this guy, see it doesn't resonate. I think that's the main difference. If you don't, if you don't mind that resonation, that versus this, it just doesn't do that. So to me, this feels a little more solid and it's actually, I think it's designed a little better. They're built great, but if, if you're a first time guy taking these apart, this will be a little easier for you. It's just a little bit better designed, but the size is the same. Um, this clearly has more features and sounds very similar. You'll see uh, later in this video, you'll see me just jamming on both of them. And so as a comparison, Um, you know, this is faster. This has a faster processor. It loads way faster. Uh, it saves way faster. It has, you know, the, the CF card. I have an SD card, um, hard drive in there is in my previous video. And then the CD drive, I don't think is that great, but it's there. If you want it, pull samples off it or play CDs or sample off of CDs, which is fine. The screen's bigger. You have a bigger screen than this one. The light on the screen is different where this is a nice green and it's easy to read and doesn't blow you away at night and this thing is like it's kind of fluorescent and it's kind of weird you know it has that weird kind of fluorescent hue to it and it's smaller it's smaller I mean look at thumb thumb Yeah, man, it's a cool machine. You know, it has a little bit of an issue that comes and goes um, that I'm working on. It's a it's a static pop out of the left side, and uh, it comes and goes. So, but it doesn't affect the recording of this thing. You know, and this thing never has had a problem. This thing is a bulletproof. You know, you can just go nuts on this thing, and it doesn't care. This. 
This, I think they kind of blew it. Uh, maybe cheaper parts, I don't know. Um, in fact, let me just see here. I am curious at this point. Let's get some light on there. Let's look at where this fucker's made. Made in Taiwan. Right? Fucking, um... MPC 2500 made in Taiwan, right? I think that's where they blew it. Because if you look at the 2000 XL, well, even this is made in China. Right? See that? So, between China and Taiwan, there was a quality drop, I think, in, in these things. Because I've never really heard of, of the 2000s having any issues, but I've read a whole bunch of stuff on these uh, 2500s having issues and I have an issue with this this is this is an issue machine but it's okay it's not too huge it's just this occasional pop that comes out of the comes out of the stereo outs and it comes out of the headphone outs it's just this weird click but this thing doesn't have any issues so let me as I have some light here let me show you this wacky paint job I did so that's um basically the paint job you can see it real good there and it comes down to the front it kind of fucking spills over I did the best I could to match it up and then the side is kind of like that I just wanted some color on it so I put some paint on it I like it 